In our recent project, we were given the task of somehow getting the standing water that would build up in the backyard from either sprinklers or rain out to the front and replacing an old wood fence that was between the property lines completely rotted out and blowing over. After putting our leveling equipment on the concrete sidewalks, we noticed that the sidewalk wasn't sloping towards the front yard at all. Basically, the concrete people, they sloped it towards the fence down the middle, which you could see we tore out. So instead of the water going to the front yard and then out to the storm drains in the street, it went between property lines and just sat there. And we had to come up with some way to move that water out. There was about 50 feet worth of fence where water would just stand and sit. So we figured the best thing to handle this would be a French drain made up with a three inch diameter pipe perforated with holes that you turn downward. And inside you can see there's the little trough where the water, as it comes in, it'll sit. And even though the pipe is pretty much level, the water will flow out. And there was a very slight downward towards the front yard, which helped and so we took advantage of that too. We capped off the pipe in the backyard so the water wouldn't go back, it could only go forward. And we wrapped a sock that you buy, it's a piece of cloth. You can buy them in 100 foot sections and we put that cloth over the pipe to keep out mud and so on. And then when we filled the trench, we filled it with the coarse gravel, the like inch and a half, two inch gravel. So that way it would last longer as far as dirt getting in there and clogging it up. So when the water would drain off the sidewalks, they'd go down in the gravel, they'd hit that French drain, follow the drain out towards the front yard. A person could have the option of putting weed cloth over the gravel and then dirt or grass over that, but we decided to leave it open because we didn't care about the appearance down the side yard. In constructing the new fence, we put pressure treated four by four posts in, set in concrete, and also we used on the bottom rail there, two by six treated. On the top rails, we figured they were plenty high enough to be out of the dirt. They were just regular Douglas fir. The new fence planks were made of one by six cedar, nailed with ring shank galvanized hot dip nails. One advantage to having the gravel on the bottom is it wicks away moisture that could build up down there with mud and grass and rot out the planks. We hooked up a shop vac to the back of our chop saw when cutting the cedar planks and treated lumber. That helps keep that dust down. Here is a view of the fence when completed. The nail gun made short work of it. Two days after the fence was completed, we had a big rain, and we had the opportunity of coming back and seeing the drain in action. Running the drain out all the way to the curb is obviously the best. But here, because of budget purposes, we ran the drain out and stopped it with a pop-up valve far into the front yard, and there's plenty of slope from then on, and we put these pebbles around it to help prevent erosion and it worked great. Later that week, we had another big rain, and it felt good to come back and see things dry, no big puddles. The little French drain under the fence was working great. Thanks for watching.